these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. You hear that? Was that the lock? I'll check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find here. Copy that. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. Christ, these things... No. It can't be. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. In this video, we're going to explore more of the crew area of the ship. And now that we have the Genesis scanner, we can find some hidden goodies. Like I said, the Genesis scanner is pretty useful. Chris! 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 Come on, say something! I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Let's find it. Come on, Jill. You're supposed to be the master of unlocking. Come on. Yeah, there's no lock picking in this game. Like uh, Lost in Nightmares, Jill picked a couple locks. Uh, you need keys just like the older Resident Evil games, which is pretty neat, I guess. Although there's not really many times where you need to have keys for certain things. Mostly it's to unlock um, extra doors and such like that. And uh, this chapter will actually be, you know, fighting some enemies. Because in the last one, we only fought that one. Alright, anything in here? Nope. Sounds like someone's taking a shower. I don't really think we want to find out who. But, we have to anyway, it's this guy. Just an ooze. Whoops, wrong, wrong trigger. Yeah, that dodge comes in handy. Too bad I'm terrible at it. I do it by accident all the time, like that right there was an accident, but when I try and do it, uh, you know, on my own accord, I never can do it. It's terrible. Or I'm terrible. Yeah, melee attacks work good sometimes, but not, not quite, uh, right now. There we go, finally. Be yeah, a scanning dead bodies or dead pools of guck or whatever that is, uh, net you some points and you can, you know, use those points. And when they uh, they add up to a hundred, you get an herb. So it's pretty useful to uh, keep scanning all the enemies you see. I believe if you scan an enemy that's still alive, you get more points. But I don't know. I usually don't do that just because it's a little dangerous unless they're really far away. There's nothing in any of these lockers, I'm going to be very upset. Which is why I'm just not going to look at the rest of them. Let's see, what's out here? Very informative, Jill. And behind me is a locked door, we cannot get in here yet. We need the anchor key. And to my right there is another locked door. We need another key for that, and we're going to get that in a little bit. Seems as though someone else is on the ship. However, not, not anymore. Because they did. Yay, ammo! I'm always expecting there to be an enemy over there. Even though there never ever is. Alright, so there should be, I think, two ooze creatures in here? Come on, scan that. There we go. 
Alright, let's shoot this guy in the ass. Hey guy, stop eating whoever that is. And get over here. Um, the first time I saw a trailer for this game, they um, and I saw the ooze creatures, I, I've i never played Amnesia the Dark Descent, but I do think that they look sort of reminiscent of the enemies in that game, which I think might be what they were going for. found a survivor. The B.O.W.'s got her, though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. Parker, I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the crisis room. See you there. Now, this game was actually supposed to feature zombies at one point. They were supposed to be, I believe, at least the main enemies of the game instead of the ooze. Uh, there, I believe that there's at least one trailer that still features the zombies. It was, I think, the announcement trailer. Uh, I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know, they, they changed from zombies to the ooze. And I, I guess they wanted to save the return of zombies for Resident Evil 6. I don't know. But yeah, zombies were at one point in this game. I think zombies would have been creepier. I don't really think these ooze creatures are are particularly scary. Except for one in particular, and we'll get to that. Uh, they, they do walk very slow like zombies, but... They have long, lanky arms, so they can grab you from pretty far away. Not anything like the uh, Regenerators or Iron Maidens in Resident Evil 4, because those guys have really long arms. And yeah, now, now we just want to head back upstairs, but now that we have the key, we can go in this room here. And there should be at least one or two enemies, maybe just one, I don't know. We got ammo, and uh, yeah, this just seems to be the washroom. Oh, hello. Why were you in there? Well, that was easy. Yeah, the enemies are kind of like how they are in Dead Space, where they can come out of anywhere, but, um, I don't know. Neither game is scary, so, I don't know. Like, the ooze can come out of vents, like, they just ooze out of vents. Uh, that guy came out of the dishwasher, or, you know, dryer, or whatever. Um, so yeah. I do still think this game has a better atmosphere than Dead Space. Then again, I just don't really like the Dead Space games anymore. I used to like the first one, and then when the second one came out, I just hated it. And now I don't even like the first one, because the second and third just are awful. But anyway, I'm running away here. Because, uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to run away from fights if you're overwhelmed and, you know, you don't want to waste your bullets. It's a technique that is good and has been good since the, the first game. So, yeah, don't be afraid to run away. Jude! Come on, we gotta help Chris. Let's open up the door and see good old Chris Redfield. Chris? What is this? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a trap. <laughs> It's time you learned the truth, Miss Valentine. <laughs> 